Well guys, this is long overdue, but here is my brand new Rigs or Rods track making tutorial. How to make tracks, I mean export tracks, onto ROR for you to test them out and use them. Now, I wanted to do this tutorial several months ago, remember when I made my custom San Antonio 2020 free track? I tried filming it, but it was so laggy, it completely broke the computer trying to export and stuff. I said, nope, can't do it. I even said that too in the um, video when I showed off the track. That I was going to make a whole new track afterwards and I'll try again. So then I tried my next track was going to be Tampa. So I can possibly use that for the upcoming MTWS season and all that. However, that stadium was also laggy too. And there was something wrong with setting up the um, custom paint lines on it. So I said, screw it. I'm going to have to do another track. So I decided to go with something smaller. And after finally settling on it, after looking at several places, I decided on... Dewcoin here, as this is custom Dewcoin 2023. I be I made this track like soon after I made the um custom San Antonio track, and there was two problems with it. One, I had to figure out how to use the lines. Actually, it was three problems. Two, I then had to figure out how to make ramps because this bus stack out here, because this was like one of the first obstacles made for a track. I wanted to make this bus stack right here. However, there was no ramp for it. I had to custom make the ramp, and I did not know really how to make a good one at the time. And Andrew said he was going to make a video on how to make a ramp, and he never did it. Thanks, Andrew, for that one. So, yeah, and of course, this was June when I started making this track. So, I had to stop and focus on making the um, MTWS 2023 season tracks. So, I focused on that and just left this on the side. And then when I came back a few months later, now that I'm done with making the MTWS tracks, and now knowing someone how to make ramps, I made the ramp now. As you see, it reminds me a little bit of like the stack from World Finals 5, but much smaller. And the last few days, I've worked like crazy finish up all the obstacles. As it's Chicago-style racing. Actually, no, no, not Chicago, I'm a retard. It's U-Turn. Chicago's for the 2023 MTWS track. With a little jump right there, add a little bit of a difference to it. And add a jackrabbit, a van sack over there. And this huge car stack with a um, Coast Guard boat on it, too. That's going to be really cool as well. And this, like, Bears-themed camper is going to be for the freestyle version when I get rid of all the turning cars. So I'm about to export it. So I'm going to show you all how to export them, especially if you use no-co cars like I do. So first we got to... Oh, hang on one moment. Apparently, even though I remember doing this last night, and of course hit the wrong button... Even though I remember making it last night, there's no no-co in the camper. That's all we need to be like a blank wall. All right, got to resize it a bit and raise it up, I think. No, it's going the other direction. No, I don't think that think that made it worse. Like, come on, man. I know for a fact I did this last night, Blender. Why did you not save it? Stupid. And, of course, the camera's going, like, way too fast. Try right, maybe that makes it wider. It's not what I need. Yeah, the only option is to do this. Cause I want to get this done first. All right, I think it's height. No, it's width. Ah! It's probably gonna have to just float in the air and stupid stuff like that. And of course, now I can't see it. I'm supposed to debut a track, not deal with this crap. All right. Guess it's going to have to do for right that right now. All right, now I got to go high it once again. Okay. So, let's see. Where's the no-co and such? God, they're all over the place. Can't be simple. And there we go. Oh. There we go. Got that one done. Okay. The first thing you're going to need to do is... You got to make sure all the, um, I don't know why the camera did that. You, the first thing you got to do is make sure everything is under the same UV. So you press on, like, the track or stay in first. You go to this right here, this triangle. Scroll this up. And down here are the UV maps. Everything that you're going to export has to be the exact same UV or else it'll show up with broken textures in game. So, like, it'll show up like this, for example, if everything's not the same. So we're going to delete this. So UV layer 0. All right, so as you see, all the other stadium props are L, um are UV layer zero. So you need to go around and make sure everything is UV layer zero. So that's what I'm doing right now, going around making sure. Like right here, this 
hill is UV map. It needs to be UV layer zero. So like I said, just go around, making sure everything's the same. You don't need to do the no-co, thankfully. The no-co is fine. You don't need to work on that. But the cars and the hills and all that, the stadium, have to all be the same. And of course, when it's like that, when it already is UV layer two, or the UV layer zero, delete the previous ones and post, I mean, paste it back on. And then the car over here. And I'm probably going to have to do the camper too, but I'm going to have to wait a little bit. All right. Oh, one more obstacle. I didn't even, I forgot to notice the skill roller right there. I always keep forgetting to notice that out there. So that it blends into the line so well, because that's all the obstacles. All right. So everything is set. Now it's got to get the roof. Oh, I know. I can't do the roof yet, because I'm not going to be able to see easily. So now first we're going to have to export the track itself and no cars and no co. All right. So now to go... Hide all the cars. Do that. And they gotta hide the boat. Where's the boat? And then there's these cars over here still. I need to hide. And then the van stack over here. Still not done hiding everything yet. I haven't even gotten to the NOCO yet, so I'm still doing all the cars. Alright. All the cars are hidden. Now we gotta hide all the no-co. They're for later. And of course there's still no-co showing up. And then we got this. Alright, now I gotta hide the van. Alright, now all the cars and no-co are hidden. So now what we're gonna do is select something. Oh yeah, one more thing too because I had to hide earlier in order to see. Where's the roof really quickly? Here we go. Now I can see do that. So you select everything. You select something. And then you hit A twice. So it'll select everything that you have that's selectable. And you hit Control J. It'll then merge everything. And the bigger it is, the longer it'll take. It's not a big... Uh, oh, thank you um, for not doing it. There we go. Finally merged it. Alright, let me go inside really quickly. and Make sure all the UVs are the same. Yep, everything seems to be okay. Alright, now you gotta name it. And this is gonna be the name of the mesh and stuff in the folder, so make sure you get it correctly. Custom do coin. That's why I always call my stuff, like the track and the stadium, I call it floor. So once that's done, you hit Control A. Rotation scale, and this thing will pop up on the side. And you gotta make sure all three are checked. There we go. Once that's done, you go to X File Export over 3D, and here you go. This is the original folder for it, and make sure it's spelled correctly. And there you go. You gotta hit Enter or hit the um, Export Ogre button, and it'll start exporting the mesh, the mesh XML. No, no, it do the material and the mesh XML, and it'll export any textures and stuff. Now, depending on how big it is, it could take a little bit. This is much smaller than San Antonio and Tampa. Like, there we go. Instantly like that. It's much quicker. All right. But we're not done yet. Now we got to go get all the cars again. So now I got to go get every single car. Make sure they're selectable too. And remember, just the cars, not the no-co. That's later. All right. Oh, oh, forgot that. No, those cars are hidden. Okay, now I gotta go think. I believe that's all the cars for the racing version. Alright, now they go, like I said, merge. And you gotta rename it. Racing cars. There we go. And same thing right here. This actually might be take longer because those no co cars I use are very high on file size. So this actually might sometimes take even longer than the stadiums if they're small enough. <coughs> so this might take longer. Now if it was like San Antonio or Tampa, the, the, the um, stadiums might take longer. But depending on what stadium you use, this will be the longest part. 
Otherwise, it'll be the stadium. Because the no-co is extremely quick. Like, within, like, a second or so. Ugh, so, this is unfortunate. That's going to take this long. Especially since I didn't even really use that many cars and such. So, it shouldn't take that long. But, as you can see, like, down here. Uh, where's it at? Custom Dewcoin. How come I don't see it? Oh, there we go. Custom Dewcoin 2023 floor. That's where it is. Uh, can you please just hurry up? At least it isn't lagging as badly as uh, um, San Antonio did, because that was, like, unplayable. Like, the computer was, like, completely bricked. And unfortunately, this is starting to get really annoying, too. It shouldn't be this long. And my computer's OP specs. It should be instant. There we go. Now, the NOCO. No, 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 that's the cars. So you gotta go for all the NOCO and find them all. Alright, that can go hide. Damn it. There. All the NOCO for racing is now out there. Merge. Hey, there we go. Oh, come on! And I just remember, I just realized a screw up too, that it's not. Race, I mean, 2023, I fucked up and I just noticed that with the NOCO and I see I did that with the cars as well. So I'm going to have to fix that off screen too when I get that expo finished exporting. So yeah, same thing with the NOCO. And there we go, instant. Alright, so now here we go. We're going to refresh really quickly. Alright, so yeah, here they are, the floor, the NOCO, and the cars. I'm going to have to rename it really quickly. And I got to find the material for it. Uh, here we go. Nope. Oh, that's a fuck up. Remember, you got to be, like I said, it's got to be the exact name throughout. Alright, that's all correct. Now you got to take the, um, <coughs> the mesh XMLs. And you need to grab them. And you need to drag them onto the Ogre XML converter. And, have, and then it'll make the material. And sometimes if it's like a big stain, it could take a while. But the cars in NoCo should not take that long. And of course, lovely, the cars are taking longer than the stadium. Don't you just love it? And of course, oh, the NoCo... Alright, now, next up, you're going to need, and you should get this from the track you're using, you're going to need a, um, of course not shown over here, you need a Terrain 2 file, a TOBJ file, and a, um, where is it at, where is it at, an ODF file. So we're going to do this one at a time. So first off, the ODF file, actually no, we'll start off with the, the um, more important ones and make it understand better. So, um, where's... Here we go. Custom Dew Coin 2023. This is the one I made when I was doing testing before I had to work on the MTWS tracks. So I'm going to rename it. Because you need one for racing and freestyle. So there we go. Custom Dew Coin Racing. And load up on Notepad++ is what I use. Not now. And this is the um, terrain file. Terrain 2. This helps the game load it up. The load up tracking game. So, this Custom Dew Coin 2023 Racing, that's where the name will show up in game if you look for a track. This is where the name is. I do not know what this is. This is the start position where you'll spawn in at. You can maybe set towards the middle later on. I'll show you all that. There's the um, offers for it. And then here's the TOBJ, which you're going to need in a moment. Alright, so I'm going to have to rename that too. There we go. So, that's for the terrain. Now we're going to need the free, no, um, the, um, TOBJ. Here we go, custom Dewcoin 2023. 
Racing TOBJ. This is also needed too. The, it needs a TOBJ for this to um, load up the actual track itself. So yeah, here it is. This tells the game what to look for, look for an ODF. Like the ODF I should to mention earlier. That the TOBJ will go look for it, this ODF. And if it doesn't show up, it won't load anything in game. And this is the location and the um, height and stuff. So like if you want your spawn point to be at this coordinates, you copy these and you place them right here. And you'll spawn right in the middle of the track. All right, so now we're gonna need another one for this. We're gonna have to re first. We gotta rename it, oh. and then we gotta copy it, and then we gotta rename it. Here we go. For so this one load the track, and this will load the cars in the noco. So now we gotta make the ODF. We're actually gonna have to make two ODFs right now. So first. This is the original ODF. So I'm going to rename it. And also I'm going to have to fix that too. Because it's got to be the exact name. And copy that. This is the mesh that loads. This will load up the appearance of the mesh. And this will load up the collisions. Which I'll explain more than that a little bit later on. Along with this is the friction too. Determines the um, grip you're going to get on the track. So... Save that. I'm going to have to fix this too really quickly to be safe. Now, where is the TOBJ? There we go. Custom Dew Coin 2023 Florida. Now, load up the track and now, load up the cars and stuff. Now, we got to make another ODF for the cars. So, here we go. Make a copy of this. Oh, and there's a Y there. We got to get rid of that. All right. So now in here, we're gonna rename this for the cars. So the game will load up the car, I mean the cars up here, and then we go on here and replace with NoCo. So it'll, this, this ODF will load up the cars in appearance, but it'll load the NoCo as collisions. So the cars will be invisible in terms of collisions, but they'll have this collision too. Because you need that because if you don't use this for these newer NoCo cars, the game will either lag really bad when you get touch, touch them or you'll get grabbed. This will enable no lag and no getting grabbed. All right. So now, I think oh, that's that's for racing. Now we gotta go do freestyle now. So now I gotta reload this back up. Okay, we're gonna have to do a quick edit for this. I gotta delete the no co for the race dom um, turning cars, and I gotta delete those cars too. So we're gonna go do that. Since these are not going to be here, got to delete all that. There we go. All right, now we're going to go hide the NoCo. And now I got to go find, no, it's not them. There we go. And also make sure, too, that the UV is the same one here because I didn't, yep, see what I mean? Good thing I did that because this was not up to date. There we go. All right. Now that that's done, I'm going to merge them. Did it merge? Yep. Now we're going to name it Freestyle Cars. And I just remembered to, I just saw that. I don't know why, I don't know why I'm keep forgetting to put 2023 in there. I just keep forgetting that. It's like the third time now. And usually I know that easily. Alright, now we gotta export it. And now it's gonna probably take longer too because it's an extra <clears throat> NoCo piece and camper. So it might take a bit longer. And of course you gotta do this for the um NoCo as well. Then you gotta um make the new um terrain to ODF and TOBJ update everything on there and then you should be able to just load up in game and see if it works and yeah that's how it is once this you know loads it's getting like kind of annoying but yeah this is how bad no when I did Tampa no yeah, not Tampa San Antonio it was way 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 worse it lagged so bad it was it was like it like I 
I think for the um, track, it took like 20 minutes just to do the, <coughs> the stadium and the ramps and all because it was so laggy and film it too. It was really like unredeemably bad. Now it would be nice if you could just hurry up because we're in a tight window of getting this uploaded in time. Plus I can maybe get this track done in time for everyone to drive on. So please hurry up. Been working on this for a few months now. I mean, like a few months delayed. There we go. And now we got to make the update no-co. I already deleted the no-co. That's right. The previous ones. Here we go. Got the freestyle version. And another note is don't save any of your progress as you, like, merge them all together. That could be a terrible idea. God forbid you need to do some fix, fixes and all that. So... Save before you do any merge and all that because who knows, you might need to go back and fix some things. So always remember that. All right, now we got to do this again. Why did you load the calculator? I pressed this. So now I got to find the freestyle. Here we go. And wait for it to finish. All right. Now they're all there. Oh, yeah. Let me make sure of something really quickly. Okay, it looks like I renamed that. Let me check the mesh, too. Because I remember I didn't rename the one, named one of the files correctly earlier. So I want to make sure it's all correct. Okay, looks like it's all correct. All right, so now we gotta find the oh here we go the ODF for the cars. And we got to make a new one and rename everything. There we go. We have to replace racing with freestyle. Okay, now I gotta make a um, replica for TOBJ. All right, got TOBJ done. And now for the um, terrain too. Here. And I always, by default, always rename this right here, even though I have no idea what it does. I just do it because. And then there's the um, script for racing. I'm not going to do the tutorial on that, but you all, I did a tutorial on before, so you can go watch that if you want to make your own racing checkpoints. I just realized I got to fix that name too. Wait. Oh shit, I did the wrong one. That was the um, original track that I got from. Here we go. I, oh my god. No idea how that happened. I wonder where that Y came from. So it showed up again. Remember I said earlier, that's that's the name in game. Well, if I kept if I kept the same I didn't edit, I'm just gonna leave it as such. Alright. Then the freestyle. Alright, let me do one more final check, because I got mixed up earlier. Alright, both terrains are there. Both TOBJs are there, and I already saw all the ODS. All right, and with all that, the track should be done and tested now. So here we go. Now I'm gonna load it up in game and check it out. 
And of course, I'm an idiot. I'm so used to typing MTWS. Custom do coin. Yep, here we go. Custom do coin 2023 racing. Here we go. So load it up. And here we go. Let's see in game. This is the first time since I did my test months ago. And everything looks good and nice. All right. But now, of course, to test it. We'll test out freestyle, though. But you should test out both of them. I want to do freestyle first. Make sure it's showing up correctly. Now, I just noticed something. I don't think I saw the turning cars. Now I'm really curious before I get to racing. There we go. Okay. There they are. I don't know how I didn't see them. Alright, here we go. Now we're going to go test. <clears throat> so yeah, once you export the tracks, you then want to test it to make sure everything's working correctly. And after that, it's up to you if you want to add like a um, mini, if you want to add a um, timer and all that. But otherwise, you're done. Here we go. Go right for advanced stack. Oh, big sky wheelie. So yeah, that seems okay to start off with. As they like to check every single obstacle from every single angle. Although, I don't think anyone would really s smartly go for the advanced stack that side. Because then you got to back up and turn around back into the track. Alright, here we go. Yeah, I gotta stop it. That's a good sign that's working if I can get one going. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go right for the jackrabbit. I definitely can't wait to try out that, um, the boat stack. Because that, I haven't done a stack like that before. So, I have no idea how it's gonna handle and here we go. Oh boy, you're gonna get stopped right there. Yeah, might as well check out racing really quickly. Since last time I drove on racing, I don't think I had these hills here. So we're gonna just check. Very simple racing setup, and there we go in that lane. Alright, let's go check this lane out. Still gotta check all the other. Oh shit, right, I can't check that side with the camp right here. Alright, well, I guess we'll check that out now, because that was the big problem when I started filming. Up and over, I cleared the camper instead of touching it. Because the car's um, no-co is pretty high up. Alright, I largely cleared it again. Let's go maybe crawl up to and try it slowly. Make sure I don't, like, like get stuck into a hole or anything. Nope, I went right over it like a wall. Okay, that's good. Alright, maybe I'll try the race lane this side then. Alright, seemed okay. Now to go drive into it from the car side. Go. Didn't get really a sky wheel right there. I really sunk in low in that car. I don't think it's supposed to do that. Let me back up. That seems kind of low on the cars. Alright, now we go try out the big obstacles that I had a big problem with. This is the thing I kept the track delayed for a few months. Alright, cleared it. Didn't get clipped by the bus. That's a good sign. I'm surprised how little I cleared it, too. I thought I was going to clear it by a lot more. Oh, look at that sky wheelie. Oh, that was nice. All right, let's go back around now. Crawl up to make sure the UV, I mean, um, no codes aren't bad. All right, seems to be okay. Now, what if someone wanted to try and crawl up to it and then go for the bus stack? So, we're going to try that out. Yep, it's working. All right, one obstacle left to check. And that's the boat right here. I just went off the side of it, so I didn't even get to touch it. And there's barely any room to line up for it, so we're going to have to do a little bit of cutting corners. Here we go, line up for it. Right, up and over it. And I'll check the side again, since I went off the side too much last time. Here we go, up and over it, nice. There we go. All right. The no-co and everything seems correct. All right, guys. So with that, that is the tutorial on how to export your tracks from Blender into ROR. I finally got that tutorial done to show you how it's done. And, of course, you got to finally see the finished, almost finished version of Custom um, Ducoin 2023. Hope you enjoy it because I got to get the um, timer still set up. And, of course, if you not, want us to add checkpoints to your tracks... Go watch one of my videos from last year, I think it was, on when I did that. So you can learn how to make checkpoints on your track. 
and I gotta make a mini and all that, and yeah, I hope to get this track up to download very soon. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed, see you all next time.